Today I want to talk about a different way of cooking steak, mainly thicker steaks. It's called reverse sear. I call it reverse because unlike the traditional way where you brown a steak over high heat and then you finish it over lower heat, you do the opposite. First you cook it over low heat and then you brown it over high heat. One thing I should point out is this method is really for steaks that are at least an inch and a half thick. Anything thinner and it's going to be difficult not to overcook the steak by the time you brown it. Now cooking the steak at a lower temperature for a long period of time, when I say long, we're talking about, about 40 minutes for an uh, inch and a half steak, has a few advantages. First, it gives the opportunity to tenderize the meat, breaking down some of the tissue. And secondly, it also gives you the chance to infuse a little smoke flavor if that's something that you like. And I definitely like that. When you season steak, you really don't want to be neat. You want to do it from up high so that it evenly distributes all over the steak. And you want to make sure you rub it in and on all sides. The Minimax is great because it can maintain a low temperature for a long period of time. And then when you want to sear, you can get it really, really hot, like six or 700 degrees. And that's critical. Once my Minimax gets up to temperature about 250 degrees, I add a couple of wood chunks. Here I'm using pecan. I put the steak on a rack inside the Minimax, and then I put a drip pan underneath so it'll collect any of the juices, and which I don't want burning on the plate setter. I cook it for about 20 minutes on each side. That'll get it to a temperature of about 120 degrees. Once I've gotten the steak to temperature, I can set it aside for probably an hour or two until I'm ready to brown it. That's one of the advantages of reverse sear. Minutes before I'm ready to serve my steak, I get my grill blazing hot about six or seven hundred degrees and I brown the steak on both sides. Another nice thing about reverse here is you can slice the steak pretty much as soon as it's finished cooking. It doesn't have to rest long because it hasn't been exposed to high heat for a long period of time. The steak has turned out really nice. It has a nice smoky flavor balanced with that dry aged tang. It's delicious. I hope you give reverse here a try.